Which door do you think will open? Yeah. Which one? Go stand in front of it. Okay, I'll stand here. Oh man! How did you know? The lobby? Wow, I guess so. Hello friends, we are in San Francisco. Oh, focus. Look at my mask, isn't it cute? I got it from Daiso. Anyways, we, oh, I'll be right back. I think someone's coming in the elevator. We are in SF. We're going to Union Square right now. We're gonna do a little, a little bit of shopping before we eat. Let's go check out what Union Square looks like. Ooh. Since things are kind of opening again, we don't know how dead it'll be, how busy it'll be. We haven't been here in a while, huh? Uh, yeah. When was the last time we were here? I don't even remember the last time we were in Union Square. Every time we come to San Francisco, we don't come to Union Square as often anymore. So let's go see. Oh, it is also the first day of spring. So happy spring, everybody. The weather looks really nice. This is my outfit. I have a jacket just in case, but it feels really nice. I don't think, maybe I won't need it. Oh, isn't it cute? Look at this cute little camera. We're gonna switch to this camera to try to vlog for today and test it out. So tiny. You guys are this big. And there's a wide angle lens, so I'm holding you guys like real close, which is nice. Ooh. Ooh, I'm gonna turn you guys around now. Oh my god, I'm like all up in my face like this. <laughs> Whoa. Just see that flip. Oh my god, this is so cool. Oh, also, this thing is on like a little gimbal. So it's very smooth, even though we're walking right now, like down a hill and it's pretty bumpy. Pretty sure the footage will be very smooth. We are now entering the center. Whoa. Holding this thing is so much more discreet than like a camera. Yeah, exactly. It feels really light and really nice. I kind of feel like a like I feel like I have like a big head. I'm okay, right? <laughs> Ooh, it's pretty empty for a Saturday, right? I mean, of course, pandemic. Uh, things are barely starting to kind of open up more uh, capacity indoors. We are heading over to Uniqlo right now. You see that huge sign? <laughs> what did you find? So everything. <laughs> we stepped into Urban and look. I was never really into spring fashion, but for some reason, everything here is so cute this year. Look. Look at this. What do you think? It's cute, right? We have made it to Chinatown. Whew. Kind of walking up a hill right now. Out of breath. It is so empty. A lot of things are closed or boarded up still. But we are on our way to get some dim sum. What is the place called again? Mangkok. Oh my god. Oh yeah, good. Good Mangkok. We will show you guys the huge dim sum. And it's so affordable too. Oh my god. Uh, uphill climb. <gasps> There is a line. 
because it is very, very popular. The last time we were here, there was no one there. We just walked straight in. This shot right here. You're good. We finally got our dim sum. We're gonna go to St. Mary Square and we are going to enjoy our lunch. We haven't eaten all day yet. It's like 3.40. <laughs> so it'll be our first meal. Cute little park. This was only a dollar forty, you guys. There is, this one's chive. I think this one's chive. There is hakao, shumai, and then we don't know what this bit is, but we just got it because it looks big and yummy. Mm. Yummy, yeah. I love the bun bao, bao, so I don't mind eating just that. Even plain, it's good. Mmm. Okay, we also got this big fried dumpling of some sorts. We don't know what's inside, but we just got it because it looks so interesting. I think it's kind of crispy on the outside. No, is it? It is not. <laughs> it kind of looks like tofu skin though. Mm! There is sticky rice inside, oh my god. I love sticky rice. It kind of reminds me of the rice that's inside the the lotus leaf that's wrapped in the green lotus leaf. Mmm, I like this. There are some pieces of meat in here, some vegetables like green onions, um, maybe carrots. Mmm, I love sticky rice. Oh my god, it's my favorite. Mmm. The next thing is, I'm guessing this is a chive dumpling. We don't really actually know what's in this. Shrimp and chive dumpling. Mm. I think we're gonna be able to finish all this actually. <laughs> we got our the hakao and shumai, which is pretty popular. I think a lot of people know what's in it. The hakao is just shrimp. Shumai is, I think it's a beef shumai that we got. So we're just gonna feast and mukbang it up with you guys. <laughs> We just got to the west end of the Golden Gate Park. We're about to enter the Tulip Garden and we're gonna show you right now. And here we are. There's quite a lot of people inside right now. So we're gonna see how we're gonna traverse our way through that. But there are a lot of tulips blooming right now along with other flowers as well. Look how beautiful it is. Oh my gosh! Right in the center, there's a little um, garden area and it spells out the word hope, so we'll take you guys over there.
think of the garden? It gives me hope. Because hope. Let's go over to the hope. It's very beautiful. It is beautiful. Yeah, I didn't know this existed. I know. Thanks, Joyce. Joyce was the one that actually told me about this place. And the flowers are in full bloom right now, so it's looking beautiful. There are flowers everywhere. As well as this big windmill. I brought my sunglasses for accessories. Pictures are looking real cute. I think we're just gonna try to get more pictures and not get in anyone's way. <laughs> if you guys come around 5 o'clock, the angle right here to the windmill is very beautiful. The flowers that have the word hope is here and the windmill right behind it, the sun right in your face, it is perfect. We're back in the car now. It is quite windy and cold outside but if you guys decide to come here there is plenty of street parking so just pull on over it's just right off the street you'll see it when you drive along the road that it's on you can't miss the windmill it's pretty big <laughs> but yeah it's really cute pictures come before the tulips are gone because i think they say by by summertime the tulips will already be wilted so take advantage of the time that you guys have now in the spring Hello friends, it's another beautiful day today. We are out and about. We're about to go get some Japanese food from a place called Fugetsu. It's like a little to-go place that has a lot of uh, ready-made food, hot foods. So we came here because we saw that they had okonomiyaki and onigiri. So they have a bunch of different meats, a different options for your okonomiyaki. Uh, they have a bunch of other things such as karage, uh, katsu, uh, they also had some Korean food in there along with uh, Korean sides. There's also bakery, some sweets, a drink. You can get everything in here. And it's nice and organized. They line you up in front before you go in. And then you kind of just follow a little line to get your food and then pay and come out. So we're going to get a bunch of stuff and then take you guys to a cafe and then eat with you. now on our way to a really 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 super cute the most cutest cafe in San Jose that I know of it is called K Cafe we parked in the neighborhood a little far because they have a really small parking lot and there's not a lot of street parking near the cafe but it is totally worth the walk the outdoor area is decorated really kind of fantastical you'll see what I mean when I show you but the inside the whole ceiling is covered with um, flowers it's unfortunate we can't sit inside nowadays, but I'll show you guys the inside when we order. some tables have opened up so we have our own little table now um, I thought that the inside wasn't open anymore but I guess they're open now so come if you guys want to enjoy the beautiful flower ceilings it just gets really busy it's always full inside we've never had a chance to go inside to eat yet but um, the outside is still really cute look at all this decor the Eiffel Tower some horsies <laughs> yeah we're sitting under an umbrella as well. It's a really nice sunny day, like I said, but we are shaded here in this area. We're going to continue to enjoy our food. Toast. Mm. 
we've had this before and last time we tried coming here and getting it, it ran out but today they had plenty we also got the Dalgona coffee I got it iced you can get it hot and then we also got Vietnamese egg coffee this one's hot but you can also get it iced let's taste see if it's any if it changed ah! the, the custard is kind of, it's slightly eggy it's not overly sweet so that makes you just keep wanting to eat it mm. look at that thick dalgona whipped mm, look how thick it is wow mix it a little bit Mmm, it's good. When I tried to make the Dalgona coffee at home, I didn't like it for some reason, but it's good here. Strawberry. <laughs> you know what I kind of reminds me? The creamy French. Oh like yeah. Anderson? No, that's what it is. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Exactly. But I think this is not as sweet. More neutral? But yeah. Wow. We're just gonna enjoy the rest of our time here. Gonna sit and digest a little. We also might take a little walk later to digest all this food at Santana Row. So we'll see you guys later. And here we are. We just parked at Santana Row. We are going to take a little walk, cool down all the food that we ate. We're pretty full. But yeah, do a little window shopping. Maybe we'll get something maybe we want. I don't know, maybe we'll walk over to Valley Fair. I don't it's just nice to be outside. There is a lot of people here right now. <laughs> it's like the pandemic's over or something. shopping at Valley Fair. We're just gonna leave now, walk back to the car. We're gonna say goodbye to you guys and thank you for watching the vlog. Bye! What's going on guys? Popping in at the end to give you guys the haul of what I got. The first store we went to uh, on Saturday was Uniqlo, but we didn't get anything from there so we headed on over to Urban Outfitters. This was one of the first items that I saw and I just thought it was so cute and unique. It is a super, super, super crop top with a collar and the armholes are really wide. So the employer, the employee at Urban Outfitters did tell me that there was a little bit of a side boob situation going on. Um, they only had two sizes, which was small slash medium and then medium slash large. So, uh, oh no extra small slash small and then medium slash large. I tried on both and I ended up going with the medium slash large because it gave me just a little bit more coverage. <laughs> I just think it's overall more comfortable and it's more secure. So even if there was a little bit of a side boob, I won't be worried about it possibly falling out and you know, embarrassing myself. <laughs> the material is really nice, stretchy, thick material. This brand, out from under at urban outfitters is one of my favorite brands for their intimates or i buy a lot of their um bralettes or crop tops and they're super comfortable to wear at home or out because they're so simple but good quality the next thing that i got is a long sleeve look how bright it is it's like a bright neon green long sleeve super soft and i really like the detail in the front where it kind of gathers here it kind of makes your chest look a little bigger <laughs> I also like how the front 
gathers up and it's a little bit shorter than the back so it gives it a little bit more interest than just like a regular crop top again the material is really soft it's like a soft ribbed material i think this shirt was also a part of like their loungewear uh, collection but i'm gonna wear it out because it's cute it's a nice good quality it does not feel too thin even though we're in spring and it's getting a little hot maybe at night if you're going out this will give you a good coverage so the next day we went shopping again but at valley fair in san jose um we went to santana row and valley fair so in santana row i went to brandy melville and i always find things there because they have such cute cuts good quality and pretty affordable pricing this was one of the first things that i saw it's just a simple white tank top crop tank top with a little bit of a lace detail around the arms and the neck as well as some buttons in the front i love that you can fully button or unbutton as much as you want i think this is 100 percent. yeah a lot of the brandy melville things are 100 percent cotton which i really like and this one was only 20 dollars the next thing that i got is this super cute blue crop top the material is a little bit of like a thicker knit than just the white tank top. I believe this one is 75% um, cotton. Let me check. Oh no, this one's 100% cotton. Ooh, 100% cotton. Got buttons going up the front. When I wear it, I like to button up a few just so it kind of opens up the neckline a little bit more. This also came in a white and I held back in getting it. It was like a creamy white, but I already had a white tank top in my hand, so... I got the blue instead. I love this powder blue color. I think it really complements my warm yellow undertones. The last thing from uh, Brandy Melville is another long sleeve. This one is also a ribbed material, but the ribbing is a little bit thicker than the one from Urban Outfitters. It has buttons going down the front. It's a little longer than the Urban Outfitters one. This cream color is really cute. It's a simple basic, but even though it's a basic, it's not one that I own, so I'm glad to have it in my collection now this one is the item that was 75% cotton and 25% polyester so it's a nice weight good stretch good quality and good for spring if you want to layer it if you want to open up all the buttons to make it a little cardigan that'd be really cute too so when we went back to valley fair we went to urban again because there's an urban in there since we had such good luck in finding cute clothes the day before we thought hey what else is there i again just got another long sleeve <laughs> <laughs> this long sleeve is the same one as the green one that I got, but it is in yellow. I, the reason I got it was because it was on sale and it was even cheaper than the yellow, uh, the green one. So I got this just because I love the fit. I love how it looked. I love this yellow color. Super nice for spring. Super nice for the cool spring nights. Super nice for the cool spring nights. Is that what I said? Super nice for the cool spring nights. It's like a tongue twister. Anyways, yes, this was the last item that I got. I'm very happy with it. And that is everything that I got in my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. And I hope you guys enjoyed the haul. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.